In other news, Gold Star military families, those who've lost fathers and husbands, mothers and wives defending our nation, got an unexpected slap in the face from a new tax law. The classification of survivors' benefits changed to a higher tax rate. Everyone involved admits it was a mistake, but it's costing the fanny families real money. Bree Jackson reports a bipartisan group of lawmakers is working to fix the unintended tax increase. They've introduced the Gold Star Family Tax Relief Act, which would correct the unintended consequences of the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act of 2017. Their loved ones made the ultimate sacrifice, and now lawmakers say a mistake by Congress is harming families of fallen soldiers. Gold Star families have made tremendous sacrifices for our country. They deserve our sympathy and gratitude. Not an unfair tax increase, thanks to a congressional screw-up. Senator Mark Warner says the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act made major changes to the tax system and it's negatively impacting benefits for military families whose loved ones were killed in action. The federal government is now taxing Gold Star Family Survivor benefits at outrageously high rates. Warner says previously Gold Star families paid on average about 12 to 15 percent in taxes on survivor benefits. But due to recent changes in tax laws, children receiving benefits could be taxed up to 37 percent. Republican Senator Tom Cotton says that's wrong and the Gold Star Family Tax Relief Act will help make things right. Primarily Gold Star widows and widowers who are receiving a survivor benefit sometimes put in their children's name will not have it the uh, tax rates of that adversely affected. Under the bill, benefits for Gold Star families would be taxed as earned income instead of the higher trust or parent tax rate. Despite political battles over other issues, sponsors of this bipartisan bill say this legislation is a top priority. We hope that that'll move uh, in prompt fashion. So we can correct this mistake and do right by our Gold Star families. And if passed, the legislation would be retroactive, which means that Gold Star families tax the higher rate as far back as December of 2017 will receive a refund. In Washington, Bree Jackson. As a retroactive bill, the Gold Star Family Tax Relief Act would refund those Gold Star families who were taxed at the higher rate going back as far as December 31st, 2017.